Welcome back to Avalon and Ninth. Please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are here with another plan with me in my uh, a and 7 by 9 is that what we call it? The big coiled thing, okay? You know, sometimes I, when I start saying a and N, I just want to say a and N week, so I have to sometimes stop myself to make sure that I'm not saying weeks when I'm obviously in a 7x9. Anyways, we are in the month of October, so we're doing Halloween spreads. That is what I'm doing. So Halloween this week and Halloween next week. Yeah, Halloween this next week and then one more week. Yes. So excited. So excited. Anyways, um... And then we obviously have the 52 weeks of Halloween going on, so that will be that. Uh, so we get double Halloween spreads for the next couple of weeks. So this kit is from my shop. It's exclusive art, uh, which means it is exclusive to my shop. You can't find this kit anywhere else. It is definitely going to be a staple in the shop because this I love comfy couches and Halloween and everything horror-related movies and... So, yeah, um, when did I release this kit? I think I released it in July. I think that's when I did it. So I've been waiting a very, very long time to use this kit. Uh, there's another kit that came out at the same time called Haunted House Party, and that one I will be utilizing um, during the week of Halloween because that's just yes. So let's see. So we have this week, so then I'm planning that week. So we have, after this, we'll have two more Halloween spreads. And that's it. And then Halloween will be over and we'll be jumping into a month of Thanksgiving. Because apparently, I've gone a little overboard with the Thanksgiving kits. So, I may deviate from my norm in this planner because I don't have a, a memory planner going on right now and I don't want to start a memory planner until the beginning of the year. I don't know. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Ultimately, I think what I should probably do, hmm, I'm just thinking of some things, just thinking of some things. Anyways, ignore me. So, um, date dots. I was I had a whole thing about date dots when I was doing the date dot things, but I got a little sidetracked because that's what happens. So, you know how you use up date dots, but sometimes you don't use all the date dots on the date dot sheet, and it gets kind of annoying having to shuffle through like 500 date dot sheets to find all the numbers. So I have some reusable sticker books, and went to go put, or went to go, I actually did put remainders of date dots on there. Now. The key is to remember that I did that so that they just don't stay in there and I'm not just keep utilizing sheets and things like that. So now I have one more thing that I have to remember. Um, luckily, they're like the end of the month uh, type dates, so I'll be able to I'll be able to use them. I'm I'm pretty confident I'll be able to use them. So let's go ahead and get into these plans. So this kit actually has two double boxes. Um, so I decided to put one at the, you know, beginning of the week and then the other one go, will go at the end of this week. And yeah, I'm, I'm loving the vibe of this kit and the colors. So on Monday, I did sleep in that morning, exhausted from the day before and all the work that we did that day. So slept in on Monday morning. I marked it with one of the little Halloween Terra, you know, uh, pillow stickers that I have. From pumpkin paper co i figured that would just match this kit perfectly so yes i'm really glad that i picked up those those uh, stickers uh then quarter box had to answer a whole bunch of emails and then working on planners and things that i had to work on with the planners is that i needed to punch them so they got punched they got coiled and then this third one is something that happened, but will not necessarily be coming to the shop. So, I'll let you read it if you're looking and whatnot anyways. 
we're done talking about that a lot of day of working on planners um and then that evening the kids had taekwondo so i kind of got a little off on my spacing some of that should have been up just a little bit more so this quarter box did kind of go onto the bottom washi but that's just fine so definitely didn't want to sit here and do like write out a whole bunch of things so i grabbed the little uh, taekwondo script that i had in my thing and then just added a little martial arts character from the coffee monsters co Moving on to Tuesday, I used one of our scalloped like third boxes, put the balloons, and it was my grandmother's birthday that day. So it was grandma's birthday, but I forgot to call her. I actually didn't call her until, when did I call her? Friday? I think that's when I called her. It was either Thursday or Friday that I ended up calling her. I think it was Thursday. But, um, yeah, I think it was Thursday. But yeah, I forgot to call her on her birthday, but you know, she's done that to me too a couple of times. <laughs> so I guess we're, we're even, but she's, in my mind, she's like still like 65 years old, even though I know that she can't be, she's older. But uh, anyways, I wanted to make sure that I did mark it down in my planner. And then the lawn guy came over that um, afternoon to mow and edge the lawn and make sure that some plants that we had pulled like the we have this like invasive type vine going on and so he's just making sure that it's not coming back which is very nice and so I marked that with a sticker from uh, Happy Daya and then it was still another day of punching and coiling and doing something else with planners and I marked that with a sticker from Once More With Love. That's literally how I felt having to carry planners back and forth. So, yeah. And then on Tuesday, we had the shop owner live for the Black Friday sale. So now that I am, it's been announced that I will be participating not only in TPC's um, exclusive Black Friday box, but I will also be participating in the sale that weekend. Um, we did that so we could get all the information for that done and over with and we've got a lot of stuff to do for Black Friday. That's what we have, but it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm on to Wednesday. Had to answer more emails. There were a, a lot of emails that came in last week. So we had a lot of emails to get through. Um, and I marked that with another sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. This was my like the haul that I did this time. And I started doing the video for that um, because there were some things that I wanted to start using immediately. And the video has ended up being like 45 minutes long and it isn't even a full month video. And so I'm kind of thinking that October's haul video just is not gonna happen all the way around. So it is what it is. And then it was laundry day. We had to do some major catch up on laundry. So I obviously wrote laundry, but then had the underwear sticker there that said laundry. Really should have just put it right in the middle over like a washi strip or something. I don't know. Just maybe I needed the double emphasis of laundry. That it was not just laundry, but it was laundry laundry. <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. Then put down another one of those third scalloped boxes to mark that we worked on planners. We finished them all that day, which was, yay, so happy that we finished them. So mark that with a sticker from Happy Daya again. And then my spacing got off again. So these two boxes are really close together and kind of layered over that glitter header, but yeah, it is what it is. So I have some scripts that I'm really trying to use up and they usually are for things that um, are for the kids. So like I have that foil dance script there and that way I can just mark that it was dance day and I use that sticker from uh, Joy of Planning and then this Taekwondo script to, with a sticker from Bubble Mon Stickers Co. to mark that we had Taekwondo that evening. So just trying to use them up. I don't know if I'll continue using them, um, but I may like do my own new reformatted ones. So here's one of my reusable sticker books. So this one has 
my little like from sampler sheets and everything um, character ones I'm gonna really try to get into using them so yeah definitely trying to figure that one out so had a little bit of trouble figuring out what character I wanted to pick for the paying bills and then so I went through that sticker book and then I went through some samplers that I received and this ghost that's like at the desk holding things I think is perfect for like paying bills because how many times like when you budget and you pay bills or things like that you get a little shocked at the end you're like oh my gosh you know it was just perfect not that it was really an oh my gosh moment but sometimes it just feels like that you know like you pay the bills and then you're like really really we just we're only mid-month so but the ghost was very 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 perfect marked um not marked, but put down another full box. I really do love this full box with the Jigsaw character right on top there. Like that. He's like this little doll Funko type, you know, figurine going on. So, you know, he's so small and so cute, but he's also scary. That's how I kind of feel it is. So, uh, but then I just put down one of those single mark checklists to mark that if we needed to pick up house and then put a quarter box down to mark that I needed to post the um, TPC graphic and that's where I pull if you'd seen me that's where I pulled the little owl from um, that's sitting at the laptop with you know the witch's hat on from the coffee monsters co on the recent sampler that I got and then I had to order paper so lots of sticker paper we're going through so much sticker paper which is amazing um so i wanted to make sure that i was well stocked for the rest of the year because i really don't want to have to make any paper orders around black friday or the beginning of december i'm really hoping that now all of my order like supply orders are taken care of and that i don't have to do anything until after the busy season is done that's fingers crossed fingers crossed and then just put down a half box to mark that it was dance that afternoon and used a sticker from the coffee monsters go love me the emojis so moving on to Friday as we know that last week was a very busy um, well not this last week but the week before was also really really busy um, some things got pushed off to the side and so you got back-to-back -back videos well, guess what? You're getting back-to-back -back videos again this week. So, kind of, eh, it is what it is and it, what happens. So, I decided to mark just start working from the bottom up because I wanted to make sure that that full box fit right there because of where I wanted to place the other double box. So, Friday night was definitely an, uh, an early-to-bed night, partly because I was exhausted, but another reason was because on Saturday we had to get up and go somewhere. So We'll get to that in a minute. But I marked it with another Halloween pillow um, sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. That full box is down and now I can move to the top. So Friday is when I actually ended up doing all of those voiceovers and uploading. So immediately after I was done with the voiceovers, I uploaded that first video to get it up and um, then get the other ones scheduled to go up through that weekend. So that's what you got there. And then for some weird reason, oh, before I forget, that sticker there to mark that was from Stick With The Plan Co. Um, and then for some very, very weird reason, I got a bug up my butt about reorganizing some things. Um, and partly because I was just extremely tired and so I didn't really want to like put forth much effort into doing anything else except wanting to just like lay on the bed. But I was like, you know what, you need to do something. So I decided to organize all of my foil. So many of you know, if you watch my haul videos, that I have a subscription to Rose Colored Days. It's a foiled subscription. You get the perforated like full boxes on a roll. Well, I've been wanting to use foil, but then I open it up and I'm like, I don't even know what these rolls have. That makes it very, very difficult. So I went through from the beginning of the sub and organized all of my rolls and I wrote inside the roll 
what month and year it came in and then I used an old B6 um, hardbound not really an old but one that I purchased and I was like I'm not gonna use it but I'm using it for that I have it marked down to see you know here's all the overlays that belong to this month and that way I can just look at that book and be like oh yeah this is the overlay I need and then I can go to that month and year in my stash and be able to get it so I organized all of it uh, let me tell you that painstakingly took about four four and a half hours because I had to refer back to social media posts and go searching it was yeah and so the sticker I used there, because obviously it's like washi rolls and whatnot, just perfect for foil rolls, was from Happy Dium. The third box there was a um, character sticker from Once Worn With Love, just to mark that I am very tired. And then I put that double box there on the weekend, put down Weekend Adventures banner, and then put down the half box. So we went out, um, if any of you guys know where... Erin uh, from Perfect Prince Co. She's also one of the admins of the Planners Collaborative. She lives not too far from me. I mean, I say not too far, but let's be honest, Texas is huge. So if you guys all thought about driving one way for hours, that would be like, that's a vacation. Yeah, no, that's a normal trip here in Texas type thing. So um, we met up that day so that I could drop some things off to her and, um, and everything. And then we talked and so the kids had a great time. So I just marked that off and with a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I just put this little peekaboo sticker from Once More With Love to mark that it was time to film and organize. So I definitely did organize more stickers and did start to film. Um, I actually did not film this video that I'm doing the voiceover on on that day. I ended up filming it on Sunday, but I did film other things. And then I did have to order groceries that day because we were we were running bare shelves. And oh my gosh, I grocery shopped this last weekend. Like to the point that I had to reorganize my pantry and all that fun jazz. Like it was absolutely insane. And then... That sticker was from Happy Daya, and then I just put down another little um, one-spot checklist and marked that it was time to crash, and I crashed hard because we were up pretty early that day so that we could get on the road because, of course, it was raining. Um, and then we stopped on the way home at this small little burger joint. Oh, my gosh. They were the best burgers ever, you guys. Like best burgers and I was talking to my husband he's like how far away is it and I'm like mm, an hour and a half one way and my kids are like we'll make the trip again that's how much they love the food from this place and we had just seen it on billboards on the sign and we knew that we needed some um, food and and everything we were like what the heck let's give it a try and it was so yummy you guys so so yummy I love it when little joints like that just hit the spot on on every on every level doesn't happen all the time but when it does it's like pure magic so definitely time to crash and then on Sunday had to pick up groceries pretty early but I wanted to make it with a time that Costco would also open because I needed to go to Costco and I marked that with a sticker from shop pa shop paper and thread no it's just paper and thread but her Instagram is shop paper and thread. So then I needed to finish filming, uh, edit and upload, which actually um, some editing happened, but the upload not really. But like I said, you know, I was filming this earlier in the morning. So that last little bit was, was pre-planned. And the only thing that actually didn't happen in this section was just the uploading. Um, but the editing, as far as that did and then it was time to lesson plan absolutely hate this jelly roll i am on a mission to find a new white pen for the darker stickers because i do have a lot of colors that do end up being on the darker side and so black ink obviously wouldn't wouldn't work so i'm on a mission to find a really good white gel pen so 
or just a white pen. I mean, it doesn't have to be a gel pen, just a white pen. I will, I will figure it out though. And as soon as I figure it out, I'll let you know, because of course that's what I do. So moving on to the sidebar, um, my sidebar is always just, I don't always know what to add there because there just really isn't, I don't know. I'm trying to get better, trying to get better. But anyways, so I put a, this week down and the uh, Monday through Sunday full box there. And then, you know, I'll obviously have my little section. I've got ghosts in here. Something just fell. Wow. I don't even know what it was. It wasn't loud and it wasn't heavy, so. Anyways, that's what happened during the week. So, Sundays are usually always a prep day. And so I just add that little glitter header. And then eventually I just decide to add the two shows that I watched throughout the week, which, surprise, surprise, is not going to be anything like new and fantastic. And then I have this little extra space here. So, since I blocked off the... Uh, full box with the two green I decided to block off this green with the two black and I liked how that did I wish I would have moved that quarter box over just a little bit but eh, that's what it is so surprise surprise um I watched blacklist and then we caught up on a few episodes of lie to me and then the last thing I was like well what do I add here well you guys are gonna get a sneak of what's coming that's right but it's only coming to certain things that I have in my shop and I'll sneak them. Ah, uh, let me, you know. But one thing that I always hear is that people want, like, rolls of washi. So I'm going to try the whole washi aspect. So I worked on washi designs that week. So now you know what something's coming to the shop. It's going to be washi. And that's it, you guys. All right, we'll see you around. Bye.